Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on messages, basics, and new message. So now we're going to cover the message app, which looks like this. And um, message is a way to communicate with people, um, and it's a short, meant to be a short little um, bit of conversation, sort of a back and forth play. And you can really see by the icon has a message bubble, sort of like a little cartoon, little quips back and forth. Um, as opposed to email, which we'll, we go over in our tech bit on email, um, email is really good for writing longer messages, um, things that you want people to have the ability to save in different folders, keep track of, and um, email is not as um, immediate. You have to go into the program to look at it and things like that. So today we're covering message, and um, if you're wondering why in the Apple world it's called message and not texting like everyone else does, is because um, Apple has a feature called iMessage, which um, if you're messaging from an iPhone, you know, iPhone to iPhone or iPad, whatever, um, it's Apple product. Any an Apple, Apple product. Mac, a Mac, iPhone, yep. iPad, iPod. It's free. Um, it doesn't come off your data plane plan, so that's nice. Um, but if you're, you know, texting an Android or something like that, then it's going to come, come off your data plan. So that's why Apple calls it a messages because of iMessage and that whole feature they came up with. Sometimes I find people find that confusing. Why didn't right. they call it texting? Right. Right. <laughs> but um, so if I went into the app here, and what you see on the left is a list of all the conversations or threads. Sometimes they're called you, that you have with people. And when I tap on one, on the right, then we'll come up with that conversation. And again, we always like to point out that the iPad and the iPhone are exactly the same, um, except for just due to the size of them. This has on both screen the, the threads and the conversation. This one will list the people on this screen, and then you tap on one, and then it will bring up that conversation. So it's good to point out, even though we're showing an iPad, it's always the same on the phone. Mm -hmm. So I've got a conversation highlighted, and then over here. Another yeah. thing to point out, sorry, you heard my, my sigh there. See the blue dot next to this one? That means it hasn't been read. Right. So any of them that are new are gonna have a blue dot next to them. And that's very similar to mail, it's like that too. Right. Um, and then, okay, so over here is my conversation, or it, actually this is Barb's iPad, so this is Barb's conversation with me, Karen McKay. And on the right will be your com your comments, and on the left will be the person that you're texting to. And you can see that, um, in this case, these are in a blue bubble. Now that means iMessage is working. If I, te if I show you on my phone, this is a green bubble. That means that iMessage is not working. So either you're, in this case, texting um, someone on an Android or a different kind of phone, or um, that person, if you know they have an iPhone or an iPad, um, does not have iMessage turned on. In this case, it's my brother, and I know he has an iPhone. Yes, it's very frustrating. <laughs> but uh, so we'll have to get, get by him and fix that for him. So that's a good thing to point out. It's okay. So this, I've already got this conversation going. So to, to add a new uh, comment or post to it, um, down here you'll see this field. Um, that means you can... It says message. Yeah. It says message, message in gray. So you know where I message. And then I'm just going to type, you know, a message. Oops. Hada. Hada. Okay. And then I'm going to send it. And it will send. So that's the uh, basics. And you can hear on my phone. <laughs> I got the message. And um, I've got it set up for alerts, which we'll sh we can show you later um, in a different tech bit about um, having notifications notifica yeah. in the notifications tech bit, tech bit um, to have it pop up on the screen right away so you can know who's texting you at all times. So that's it for a new message or adding a post to a, a current conversation. If you want to do a new message with somebody, um, let's say mm -hmm. that, you know, I haven't texted with somebody in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and I, I, instead of looking through my whole list of people, I'm just going to go ahead and at the top, I'm going to tap on this box with the pencil in it. And that's going to bring up a new message. Um, the blinking cursor is set in the to field right now, so I can type in who I want it to go to. And I'm going to type in um, somebody right now. I'm going to type in uh, Mosin. I'll type in M-O, and as soon as I start typing in, it's going to bring up all the names that might match that from my contacts book. If they're uh, iMessage, they're going to show up blue. 
I'm going to go ahead and tap on uh, Mosin, and it's going to bring up. Now, notice that there are some conversations going on. So it actually brought up my thread with Mosin, and um, I can go ahead, and now I'm going to tap in this area, and I can type him a new message and hit send. Now, if I want to send it to more than one person, I'm going to do the plus again, and I've got a new message coming up, and I'm going to type in my first person. is going to be Karen McKay. My second person is going to be Mark McKay. And I could just keep going, adding people along. Right. And what I, and we already have a one that's together, so I'm going to go ahead and you'll see the, the previous things. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type my message. Um, another thing to notice is right here above the keyboard, do you see these words? This is the, uh, I believe they call it adopted type. Okay. Um, what it's bringing up is it's uh, things that you might be wanting to do next. And I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, anniversary is what I meant. I'm going to tap on it. And then it's going to come up. So it's sort of like a, a, a souped up version of autocorrect. Yeah, exactly. Instead of just deciding what you're what you meant to say it's giving you options ideas and it's and it's very smart it's very adaptive depending on what your conversation is it, it gets smarter and smarter at what it recommends and I'm going to go ahead and hit send and it's going to go ahead and send happy anniversary out to both of them because it is their anniversary today 15 right. years happy anniversary Karen oh thank you <laughs> so that's how you do a group uh, message <clears throat> and that's also what you just did there is replying to a message it's, yeah it's not like email where you pick a different function. It's when people say reply to a text. It's just right It's there. just, you yep. know, typing in your comment and sending it. Right. Thanks. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.